Welcome to Ukenic. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot seats on your BMW. So if you have checked the fuses and those check uh, fine for your seats, uh, but you suspect you know something is not right or maybe like their seat is partially working, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Ukenic scanner here to control that seat and also read the um, default codes from the seat modules because these BMWs have a module for uh, front passenger seat and um, front driver seat so depending on which one is uh, giving you um, problems then you can read the codes from that one so what you want to do is um, from the Ucanic scanner on the home screen you select diagnostics then BMW then um, your model and then you come to this screen so select control modules here go to body and scroll down to find the seat modules you get seat module for the driver and front passenger seat module so if you have an issue, the first thing you should do is you should read the codes. A lot of times if there is some uh, a motor that has, you know, has failed or so, you will have a full code in there. Uh, you can look at live data, so you can look at different position of the switch uh, switches and so on. So all those, like if you press the switch, it says not operating, I'm not controlling any of them. But if I had to press one of the switches there, it should, should change the values here as well. But what I want to do is I want to go back here and go to active tests. Uh, you can reset the, uh, the control module, uh, in this case passenger control module. Backrest, headrest adjustment, activate seat ventilation, seat heating, you can test those. You can basically turn them on, seat adjustment, for example seat angle, uh, seat angle you activate that and that changes the seat angle, forward, backwards. You can see our seat is moving backwards and I'm going to go on the scanner and move it forwards as well so you can see that seat moving forward uh, so if we come back in here so this can be good for troubleshooting especially if you've checked everything fuses and so on of course like you're going to have to use a multimeter check resistances and voltages in there too but like uh, what you could do is you can use a, um, unplug the motor that you suspect for example could be faulty and then you can activate that motor here and then check the voltage um, and so on so this can be good for troubleshooting seats on BMWs and thank you for watching your mechanic where you can be the mechanic